What's up s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about technology reviews, tutorials, and how-tos. And today I do have another review for you. This one is pretty fun, but before I get into it, I did want to mention if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming reviews or giveaways, which I just had a giveaway or it's currently going on depending on when this video posts, but make sure to subscribe down below. There's a little button for it and as soon as you subscribe you can get notified whenever I post new videos and that's how you can get entered into future giveaways or check out new tutorials that I have for y'all. So let me know what kind of videos you want to see down below in the comments as well. So moving on to today's episode, I did want to thank my newest contributors. These contributors are helping me build a new studio by keeping me caffeinated. I wanted to thank Paul Anonymous and Scottiag for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee website. That's buymeacoffee.com slash snubs. And as usual, if you want access to a bunch of perks, definitely check out patreon.com slash Shannon Morse and become one of my awesome toasted s'mores. I do love my toasted s'mores. I mean, who doesn't? Okay, so today we are reviewing a couple of really interesting and useful products that I actually took with me to CES. So I use these in the real world, I took them with me every single day, and they were the things that ensured that I could get my work done in a very, very quick way way. So I wanted to share these with you today because I'm super excited about using them for my travels. I think that these are extremely useful. Both of these products are from La Cie. So the first one I wanted to show you today is the Rugged SSD. This is a solid state drive in an enclosure that is rugged enough that you can take it with you, you can toss it in the water and it'll be fine. There's a whole bunch of things that it is secure against. Now the SSD is one terabyte and it comes with USB 3 3.1 type C. So it's also extremely fast. Now this is one terabyte and it costs $250. Slightly pricey, but again, it has a lot of protection components built into it. Now this uses Seagate's Fire CUDA NVMe SSD performance to maximize that USB 3.1 Gen 2 type C speeds, which you can only get through that connection. Now they did include their own cable. It's an orange cable. It's very obvious. You won't lose it. It matches the SSD. So anytime you do need to plug it in and get those speeds, you can ensure you're using the right cable. It's also IP67 waterproof. So it's totally protected from the environment, including short periods of immersion in water. Now, obviously I would not take this swimming with me in the ocean if I plan to be in the ocean for four hours. But if you accidentally drop this in water, if you drop it in a puddle, in the toilet, things happen, it'll be okay as long as you fish it out quickly and wash your hands because that's gross. So this SSD SSD allows you to transfer and edit up to like raw 4K videos, which I don't really shoot in 4K, I just do 1080 right now. Although I do want to upgrade to 4K eventually, so that's on my list. But this allows you to transfer 4K videos with speeds up to 950 megabytes per second. That's really, really fast. More on that in a bit. It also lets you trek anywhere with three meters of drop protection and two ton car crush resistance. And I'm gonna test that theory right now. You can also protect projects with Seagate's secure encrypted USB drive technology, and it comes with five years of rescue data recovery services. Now, I wanted to get back to that speed because I thought, 950 megabytes per second, that sounds really fast. I wanna make sure it can actually do that. So I ran some tests in Crystal Disk Mark, which is a completely free tool that you can use to test the speeds of your drives. Uh, with the included cable, the sequential speeds that I was getting for read and write continuously hit over 900 megabytes per second. So totally on par with what they said it would get. Random read and writes drop, but those are still faster than a regular M.2 or a hard disk drive and that's going to be something that you should expect. Now, if you compare this to a 2.5 inch SSD connected via SATA, the faster speeds are very, very obvious. So does this tool actually do what it claims to do? 
Absolutely. Now, one last thing on the SSD I wanted to mention too, is that you can download a free toolkit from the Lacy website, and that gives you access to some additional things that you can do with this machine. So if you download this, it allows you to mirror data, backup data, or you can lock your drive with a password and encryption. Now I did lock my drive every single time I used it at CES, and that allowed me to know that if it got stolen or if something happened to it, nobody could get access to my my video files and some of those were under an embargo so some of those I had to protect until the press or PR told me I could release a video on the thing so sometimes I did actually need to make sure that those video files were protected and nobody could gain access to them so I did put a password on those and I did make sure that they were encrypted and that allowed me to have a little bit more comfort knowing that sometimes I would have to leave this drive in my hotel room for example so I like that you can include that security on this drive and that was one of the reasons why I was so excited to use it. Now moving on I also wanted to mention the Rugged Raid Pro. Now the difference with this one is it's four terabytes, it's also USB-C, and this one is also about 250 bucks. This one includes three years of data recovery, not five, and the sequential read write speeds are about 250 megabytes per second. However, with Crystal Disk Mark, I was getting a little bit faster speeds. So you can estimate just right at 250 megabytes per second and probably get exactly what you were expecting. Now this one features an integrated SD card reader, which is so cool. Now if you are a photographer, if you are a video editor, or if you are somebody who shoots a lot of videos and you need access to your SD card quickly, it's pretty awesome that you don't have to carry an additional dongle to access your SD card. You could just use this and then when it pops up in your Windows directory of folders, it will automatically show up as a new letter as a new drive. So you have your hard disk drive, the four terabytes from Lacie, and then you also have your SD card which shows up separately. I really like that they included that. I thought it was so cool. And it's also fast because it's USB-C, so that's pretty awesome. Now this one has two hard disk drives which are integrated into one device. That's why it's so much fatter than the SSD one. And each of those hard disk drives are two terabytes each. This means that you can get RAID 0 or RAID 1 configurations. Now if you're wondering what RAID 0 and RAID 1 configurations are, RAID 0 basically means you're using all four terabytes, both of those two terabyte hard disk drives, for all of your file storage. And you're only making one copy of all of your files. So you're using both of those hard drives as you normally would. RAID 1 means that you're making one copy of the files in addition to a copy on the original hard drive. So if you have two two terabyte hard disk drives, you make a copy to one and it automatically duplicates onto the second hard disk drive. That means that if one of these drives fails, you always have a backup, which a lot of people love that. But again, that means that you are going to lose two terabytes of storage because you are copying everything from one drive to another. So it kind of depends on what your preference is. I automatically do cloud backups and I do a local backup on my home computer. So I don't necessarily need to do a RAID 1 on this as well as like my NAS at home. So I would probably just leave it in a RAID 0 and take advantage of all four terabytes. But that's just me. You aren't me. You may prefer to have RAID 1 and that's totally fine. That's something that I use as well. Now this also includes dust, drop, and water resistance. So drops can be up to four feet. You can crush it with a one ton car. Let's test this theory. And it has IP54 water and dust rated protection. So that means that you get limited protection from the environment and it is protected from splashes. Now, given that both of these drives from Lacie are $250, which one do you choose? And it very much comes down to what your preference and what your needs are. If you are a photographer or a videographer who doesn't need as much protection, but you need something that is quick, something that is really, really easy to access, and maybe something that automatically duplicates into a RAID 1, then you probably want the rugged RAID Pro. However, if you want something that is the quickest speeds possible, it may not come with as much memory. However, both of these are available in different formats. 
different sizes, so you don't necessarily have to be stuck with one terabyte. Then you may want to go with the smaller, more compact travel companion, because this one is smaller, it doesn't weigh as much, and it does give you those really, really fast read and write speeds. So which one do you prefer? I would love to know what your comments are, or if you have any questions about these down below in the comments, of course, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Myself, I think I prefer the rugged SSD as the one that I like to carry with me. However, when I'm at home, I really find that the rugged RAID Pro is extremely useful with that SD card reader. It makes my transfers of the videos that you're currently watching, all of those files, really super fast onto my new computer. Now I would love to share more reviews very similar to this one so definitely subscribe and comment below if you enjoyed this video and I wanted to thank you so very much for your support and for just viewing this video. I really appreciate it. Again my name is Shannon Morris. Thank you so much to my s'mores, my patrons, and my caffeine buy me a coffee fellows. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey s'mores, Editor Snubs here, and I just wanted to let you know I have chosen the winner for the Alienware giveaway, and the winner is dot dot com on Twitter, who tweeted, loved the new video from Snubs on product recs from Alienware, especially loved the kitty meowing at the end. So congratulations dot dot com. If you haven't already, go ahead and send me your information over DM, and I will get that over to Alienware. So thank you again so much to Alienware Hive for sponsoring this giveaway and I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, definitely let Alienware know that you would like to see more giveaways like that. I would love to do more with them as well. So congratulations again dot dot com and I will get in contact with you shortly. To walk right to out the door, then you have magic.